Wait, man. Excuse me, sir. You can't pass. You That's can't my pass. mother. That's my mother. Mark. Mark. Stay. Mark. Serve, double, neat. You got it. It's a good choice. Thanks. It's really out of my element. The drink or the bar? Well, pretty much both. I mean, I'm not much of a drinker, but through the current state of my life right now, a stiff drink is definitely necessary. Yeah, well, life will do that to you. Tell me about it. I, uh, I just lost my mother. My condolences. I'm sorry. Thank you. And then my family and I are just getting settled into our home. And work is killing me. I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> but problems don't pay the bills, right? <laughs> That's exactly what I tell my clients. Some need to be reminded more than others, but they get trained out. What do you do? I fix things. <laughs> so you're a repairman? Uh, Marcus. In case you need anything. Hey, Rick, give him another drink on me. You got it, boss. All right, thanks. Nice to meet you, Don. Marcus, sorry I can't come to the phone right now, but leave me a message and I'll return your call. Marcus, it's Bobby. I'm calling you from my office hoping you'd pick up. I try calling for my cell, you don't answer, and you're never home when I pass by, but... Listen, I know Deborah leaving is tough on top of everything you've been through with your mom and your job, but the bright side is you're finally in a program now getting the help that you need. I'll be here every step of the way, but you gotta let me in, brother. When you get this message, please call me back. I love you, brother. How many more times are you gonna keep coming home like this? Like what? Drunk. Not drunk? Not drunk. Christ, Marcus, your children are home. The kids are home? Yes. It's 8 o'clock on a school night. Where did you think they would be? And that's your mother's house? That was last week, Marcus. Don't touch me, you reek of alcohol. I said don't touch me. But you don't love me no more? I didn't say that, but I don't love this, Marcus. Hey, Deb, you'll never believe it. I joined the gym today. Marcus, I've had enough. I've reached my breaking point. The kids and I are leaving. Apparently, we're not enough for you to let the bottle go. We've done all we can to make it work. It's all in God's hands now. Dead.
You got a lot of fucking nerve showing up here, Marcus. Hey. <sighs> Don't bait me. What are you doing here? Look, just, just, just let me explain. Explain what? What is there to explain, Marcus? <laughs> why your drinking is excessive? Or why you come home night after night wasted beyond belief? Or when I try to get you help and confront the issue, you put your hands on me not once but twice? Mm, I, I mean, I, I... <laughs> That was a rhetorical question. But... <sighs> Do not come near me. Marcus, I've been nothing but a faithful wife to you. When your mother died, I was by your side. I was even patient with you when you started drinking. You needed help, I got you help. You needed rehab, I found you a rehab. What else is left for me? There was nothing left for me, Marcus, and I have nothing more to give you. I've been a great father. I'm not finished. I never thought in a million years I would be running away from my own husband. The man who was supposed to love me and protect me. There's nothing more you can do for me, Marcus, than to get your shit together for your kids. I can smell the liquor on you already. But I've been a great father. A great husband. You know that. You made a vow, Dad. And was a part of your vow being able to put your hands on me? No, I didn't think so either. So I'm gonna politely ask you to please get off my mother's step. Or do I need to call the police? Dom. Hey Marcus, you got my money? Listen, I got suspended from work, but I'm gonna have your money, I promise. I don't wanna hear about your fucking problems. They got nothing to do with me. I know, I know, it doesn't have anything to do with you. I, I know that, but listen, I'm in a hole right now and... I'm gonna... If I don't have my money today, you're gonna have a big fucking problem. You understand me? I will, I will. I have my fucking money today, Did you hear me? Okay. Smarten up. I will. We gotta teach this motherfucker a lesson. You probably think you were playing games on me. <laughs> Miss, I'm telling you, uh, listen, I need this loan. It's very important. Hey, I, listen, hey, I need... hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Listen, listen, I'm gonna have your money. I'm gonna have your money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you running? Where the fuck you think you go? Guys, please, listen, listen, listen. I, I promise I'm going. Shut the fuck. What should we do with him, boy? No, no, Dom, Dom, please. Just let me go get that. Ah! 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 Next time, there won't be a next time. Hi, you've reached Debra. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you shortly. Baby, please come back. I, 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 I've been good. I promise I'll be better. Please come back. I need you. I need the kids. Please call me back. Please. Please answer the phone. So you gonna forget about me? After everything I done for you? Everything I done for this family? Okay, okay. I slipped up. Okay, I slipped up. I shouldn't put my hands on you. I sh but you, you, you pissed me off. Because if you understood exactly what I was going through, you wouldn't go crazy over a drink. Can a man have a drink? I lost my mother. You gonna leave me over a drink? 
A drink? <laughs> you know what? I don't need you. I help myself. If that's how you want it, fine by me. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I love you. If I was a rich man, la 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 la. <laughs> Marcus? <coughs> la 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 la. If I was a rich man. La 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 If I had So this is your idea of being on the right track And money in the world Bobby? We're shaking baby What are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? I'm living baby Come on man get up Nope 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 I'm saying right here. I'm not gonna allow that. I'm not gonna let you continue to drown yourself. <laughs> I'm not drowning. As you can see, I'm sitting down. <laughs> Plus, you know I can't swim. You told me you were in a program. You said you wanted your life back. You also said you wanted your family back. Remember that, Marcus? Don't worry about what the hell I'm doing. I'm gonna get my damn family back. Even if I um, have to die trying. Or you'll just die. Because the route you're going, you'll be in the ground sooner than you think. Look, I don't know why you're so damn defensive when I'm just trying to help you. You want to know how you can help me? By getting the hell away from you so you can continue to drink that devil in a bottle? <laughs> Absolutely not. And you want to know why? Because I fucking love you, man. We've been tight since we were kids. And we've always had each other's back, no matter what the situation or circumstance. We made a promise to always look out for one another, especially when shit got rough. So I'm standing right here. It's time to get you home. Home? Did, <coughs> Did you just say home? <laughs> I knew you were funny, Bobby. <laughs> but I ain't even know you was that funny. You were one delusional Negro for you to be up in my face talking about, take me home. <laughs> home is where the heart is, huh, Bobby? Nah. Well, it might not be such a bad idea. If I never, never went home again. Because it's broken, Bobby! You hear me? It's broken. My wife, my kids, gone. 
What the hell am I going home to? Huh? When I was down and out. When I was struggling. Look at you, Bobby. Nobody had their hand out for me. Nobody gave a damn about me. Now when I reach out, it's nothing. No one there. When I turn over in the bed, see if she's on the other side, go in my kid's room to check on them, nothing. Don't give me that pity party bullshit. You think your wife left for no reason? Who chose to put his lips on that bottle, huh? Who chose to disregard his wife when she encouraged and pleaded with you time after time to get help? Who chose to put his hands on his wife, huh? Who chose to let down his son? His daughter. You got some damn nerve blaming me for your fucking problems. Man, look in the mirror. That's who you should be blaming. You knew the directions before you showed up at the party. But I'm not here to denigrate you, Marcus. I just... Your mother wouldn't want you to choose the same path that she chose. That's how she goes, Bobby. A drunk driver. After all the good that she did. After all that she's been through. This is how God repays her. Explain it to me. I can't, Marcus. I don't have an answer. I'd be lying to you if I had an explanation for it. None of us can comprehend it, but that doesn't mean you have to give up and go out this way. Don't let the death of your mother defeat you, brother. Think about her struggle and her fight to change. I'm, I'm dying, man. I don't, I don't know what to do, man. Marcus, I'm here. I'm here, Marcus. I'm gonna make sure you get the help that you need, but you gotta want it, man. Don't let your mother die in vain. I gotta, I gotta get Deborah back, man. I'm, I miss you her. You can't do it for I them. Miss the kids, man. You can't do it for them. Right now, you have to take control of your life. Listen, I'll carry the baton, but eventually, you have to take it and run. I'm empty. You know what it's like to wake up every day in pain. And the only way to ease it is with her. Well, how do you feel when you run out? Now, I know you can go back to the liquor store or the bar and get back that feeling, but no matter how many drinks you buy, it's only a temporary fix. And you continue to dwell on your pain, which will lead you to be broke, dead, or both. And then Frankie and Lisa will grow up without a father. But if you started showing legitimate signs of progress, I'm sure they'll come around. But you've got to earn that. Your friends, your family, your reinstatement, you've got to earn it all. How sure are you, Bobby? What? You heard what I said. Now answer the damn question. Marcus, what the hell are you talking about? Are you really sure? Or is it just the best thing for you to say to me right now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. You got all the answers, don't you? Even though we both know you don't. You don't know a damn thing, Bobby. Marcus, that's the liquor talking. You're delusional and inebriated. Give me the damn bottle. I ain't giving him nothing, because I have nothing. Marcus, you have to surrender your denial and your ego. Give me. They're all gone, Bobby. They're all gone. And so am I. Marcus, no!